Hey, everybody, I want you to meet Carrie Pick. Carrie is with Lake Time Radio. Lake Time Radio, Old Hickory, Tennessee. That's right. And, uh, she has a radio show there, but uh, Carrie is also helping us with our television program and uh, helps us out here at New Century Productions and Andy Anderson Productions. And uh, we did a project together on Fritz Schultz. And uh, uh, Carrie has introduced or has done an interview with Fritz. And I wanted to introduce you to Carrie before you saw the interview with Fritz so you know who she was and, and, and all about her. So uh, uh, tell me about Lake Time Radio. Well, Lake Time Radio is an internet-based radio. Um, I have uh, strictly independent artists that aren't signed to major labels because some of the best music isn't on the airwaves quite yet. And I love working with their enthusiasm and their energy. Oh, cool. And uh, how did you decide to do this? Well, I've been a radio DJ up north for many years. And, uh, and I thought, what a better place to find the freshest and greatest performers than to come to Nashville. That's right. We're glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're part of our team. I'm proud so, to be here. So you'll be you'll be seeing more and hearing more of uh, of uh, Carrie. Also, be sure that you uh, look up on the internet Lake Time Radio. Is it Lake Time or Lake Times? Lake Time. Lake yep. Time. Just one time. Yeah, because who doesn't want Lake, to be at the lake? <laughs> <laughs> lake Time Radio, and I guess is that LakeTimeRadio.com or .net or. Um, well, you can find us on Facebook, and the oh. link is right there. You find uh, Lake Time Radio on Facebook. You click the link, and it'll take you right to the radio feed. Okay. I uh, want to make sure everybody can find you so they can hear you. And uh, uh, back to the Fritz Schultz Project. Uh, Fritz uh, is an artist from Texas, a singer-songwriter from Texas. And uh, we did a show with him on the stage here at, at uh, uh, New Century Productions. And uh, we also shot a video downtown. And so we will be showing that video in this segment. But right now, I wanted to have Carrie to read a, uh, a uh, true picking guy. I guess, what is this called? It's called a... Uh, it's Steve uh, Adams, uh, owner uh, at uh, Soundwave One. He is a music critique. Yeah, uh, Stephen does reviews. And he's in Bakersfield, California, which is a good place to get reviews from. And uh, he will be reviewing some of our talent on this show. And I was hoping that uh, uh, that uh, Carrie would read this troop picking guy inter. Uh, I wanted to call it interview, but it's it's really not. <laughs> so uh, uh, read if you would please read um, it. I'd be happy to. After listening to the latest album from Fritz Schultz, I was taken back, especially when it comes to the writing reviews of this country folk. Fritz has a way of singing his way through a barroom and more. This album is called First One to the Bank. Fritz has a honky-tonk sound that is very ear-bending and adds a full flavor of true honky-tonk music. The first track that caught my ear was the song Bipolar Blues. This song adds the element of old country blues and completes the sound that sums up country of yesteryear. Another song that really builds the excitement is a song called I Ain't Gonna Need It Anymore. It brings the bluegrass feelings as Fritz and the band strum along to the rhythm. The song One Whirl Around the Floor keeps the momentum rolling on and made me feel as if I was in a nightclub hearing the band playing in the background. As I listened further to the album, the sound really grew on me with the sound of the pedal steel that always adds that special feel to music. All songs on this album were written by Fritz Schultz himself. Added to the complete sound, this enjoyable album has the consistent use of the mandolin and the slide mandolin that adds flavor to this album. The album slows down the tempo a little with the song, If I Told You, a little ballad that is very strong in lyrical content and shows the album's vulnerability in the, in the sincere lyrics in this written song. Fritz adds this true flavor of an acoustic guitar and electric guitar throughout the album in which it just keeps the consistent flavor of honky-tonk sound throughout. This album final sound uh, is called Down This Road. 
And Fritz showcased his style and his added flair of vocal range and sounds really good. All in all, this is a strong album, and if Honky Tonk and sounding of good picking country is your cup of tea, then this album is for you. Throughout this great album, it seems that Fritz is a storyteller and sends his message through his lyrics and expresses this with a wonderful band. I look forward to hearing more from Fritz Schultz in the future. Stephen F. Adams. Thank you so much, Carrie, and thank you, Stephen. We really appreciate your reviewing our artists. And now we're going to go to the Fritz Schultz interview with Carrie Pick. All right, ready. Okay. Five.